Hi! Are you aware of all the keyboard shortcuts in Excel? In this video, let me introduce you to 100 shortcut keys and see if there are any new ones for you. Let's begin with frequently used shortcuts. Press Ctrl arrow key to navigate to the edge of the data region, while Ctrl shift arrow key extends the selection of cells to the last non-blank cell. Alternate H, A, C to center align cell contents. Alternate H, D, C to delete column, while alternate H, D, R to delete row. Ctrl Z undoes recent action while Ctrl Y redo something you've undone. Ctrl 0 to hide the selected columns, and Ctrl Shift 0 to unhide them. Ctrl 1 foot opens the Format Cells dialog box, where we can create custom number formats, such as changing the font color for numbers greater than 100. Ctrl B4 bold, Ctrl I4 italic, and Ctrl U4 underline. Ctrl 9 to hide the selected rows, and Ctrl Shift 9 to unhide them. Ctrl A selects the current region or the entire worksheet. Alternate H, U, A inserts the average formula while alternate equal inserts the autosum formula. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, and Ctrl alternate V, and V paste is value. If we want to convert the data to proportion, copy this value, then, select the data region, press, Ctrl alternate V, and followed by I. On the other hand, Ctrl O opens a workbook, Ctrl P to print, Ctrl S to save, while Ctrl W to close workbook. Press Shift Spacebar to select an entire row in a worksheet, while Ctrl Spacebar selects an entire column in a worksheet. If I cut this selection using Ctrl X and move to the cell on the left, then press Ctrl plus sign allows me to swap the columns. Next, I would like to share keyboard shortcuts for formatting cells. Press Ctrl A followed by Alternate H, O, A to autofit row height while Alternate H, O, I to autofit column width. Ctrl 5 to apply or remove strike through formatting. Ctrl 6 to hide or display objects. If we press Ctrl Alternate 5 followed by the tab key, then we can cycle through all floating shapes. To select all the objects, press Ctrl Shift Spacebar. Besides, press Ctrl D to use the fill down command to copy the contents and format while Ctrl apostrophe to copy formula from the cell above. Ctrl R uses the fill right command to copy the contents and format. Ctrl grave accent to switch between displaying cell values or formulas. Ctrl K to insert hyperlink. Ctrl T and press enter to convert range to table, or we can press Ctrl Q followed by T, then select table to achieve the same result. Ctrl minus opens the delete dialog box to delete selected cells, while Ctrl Shift equal opens the inset dialog box to insert blank cells. Press Ctrl semicolon enters the current date, while Ctrl Shift semicolon enters the current time. Use Ctrl Shift tilde to apply the general number format, Ctrl Shift 1 for number format, Ctrl Shift 2 for time, Ctrl Shift 3 for date, Ctrl Shift 4 for currency, Ctrl Shift 5 for percentage, Ctrl Shift 6 for the scientific number format. On the other hand, Ctrl Shift 7 adds the outside border, while Ctrl Shift underscore removes the outline border from the selected cells. Ctrl Shift F allows us to format fonts in the format cells dialog box, such as adding the superscript effect. Ctrl Alternate M inserts a threaded comment, while Alternate R, H1 shows the comments pane. Press Shift F10 to open the context menu, and Press M allows us to delete comment. Shift F2 inserts a note. Ctrl Shift G opens the Workbook Statistics dialog box. When typing in a cell, press Alternate Enter to start a new line. Alternate Shift F1 adds a new worksheet. Press Ctrl F to find, for example HR, while Ctrl H to replace, for example Human Resources. Ctrl F10 to maximize or restore down the active workbook. Ctrl N to create a new workbook. Alternate W, N to duplicate workbook in new window. If we press window key left and select the workbook, then we can view two worksheets at the same time. Next, let me share keyboard shortcuts for navigating in cells. Press alternate down opens the list of validation choices. Alternate page down moves one screen to the right in a worksheet, while alternate page up moves one screen to the left in a worksheet. Control alternate plus sign to zoom in, while control alternate minus to zoom out. Control N moves to the last cell on a worksheet. While Control Home will move to the beginning of a worksheet, Control Shift End extends the selection of cells to the last used cell on the worksheet, while Control Shift Home will extend the selection of cells to the beginning of the worksheet. To select all blank cells, press Control G, 
and select Special, press K and Enter. To apply the same content or formula in all the selected cells, press Control Enter. Control Page Down moves to the next sheet, while Control Page Up moves to the previous sheet. Next, let's try keyboard shortcuts for working with data, functions, and the formula bar. Press Alternate E, I, J to fill justify. Alternate A, M to remove duplicates. Alternate A, S A to sort data in ascending order, while Alternate A, S D to sort data in descending order. Alternate A, E opens Convert Text to Columns Wizard, then select the correct delimiter allows to split text into columns. Alternate F1 can create an embedded chart of the data in the current range. Alternate F11 opens the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications Editor. Alternate F8 to run a macro. On the other hand, press Alternate M, M, D to define name, while Alternate M, C to create a list of names from the selected cells. Then, we can use F3 to reference the cell value using the names defined. Control E can invoke flash fill to automatically recognize patterns in adjacent columns. When using a function, press Control A allows us to check the descriptions of all arguments of a function, while Control Shift it inserts argument names in parentheses. Control Shift L to turn filter on or off. Control Shift U will expand or collapse the formula bar. F2 allows us to edit the active cell. F9 calculates all worksheets in all open workbooks, while Shift F9 calculates the active worksheet. Shift F3 inserts a function. Among all these keyboard shortcuts, which ones do you like the most and which haven't you used before? Feel free to comment below. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.